Hi there. My name's Brenda Zegmeister, and this evening I'm going to lead us in a gentle yoga session. This is a part of Price Hill Will's Let's Get Physical series, bringing health and wellness programs to the Price Hill area in Cincinnati. And so I'm very proud to be a part of this effort. And uh, the classes are provided for free. If there's um, a, a desire to help support it, uh, you can always show your support by going to the PriceHillWill.org website, look up the Let's Get Physical page, and make a donation there. And make sure that you put that you're designating it for Let's Get Physical. So for this evening, I thought we would focus on really relaxing a little bit more deeply, focusing on the breath, maybe learn a breathing technique that you've not learned before, something really simple that you can do anywhere. And um, I'll show you some yin stretches. These yin stretches are designed to allow us to go a little bit deeper into our stretch. They're held a little bit longer than some yoga classes, which focus more on the muscle. So the fascia is that connective tissue uh, within the body uh, between all the muscles and everything. And so uh, it allows for deeper letting go and relaxing. So we'll go ahead and get started. And um, we'll start with the breath. I always like to start with the breath because that allows for deeper letting go, deeper relaxation. And I would suggest like perhaps putting one hand on your belly and the other one here on your chest, maybe close to your collarbone. So you can really feel where you are breathing with each um, step that I'm directing. And we're going to do this in three steps. It's called three part breathing. And we'll start with step one. So the first step is just to breathe into your belly and feel that belly expand with the breath. And then as you exhale, just let all the air go out of the belly. Feel like it's a balloon and it's just deflating. So step two of the three-part breathing is to breathe again into the belly, inflating the belly, and then to bring it up a little bit further so that it's into your chest. And then as you exhale, let go of the breath from the chest so that the chest contracts, the ribs contract, and your belly will contract. And so the third and final step is to go even higher. So we'll breathe in again into the belly, feel it inflate, inflating through the rib cage and into the chest, all the way up to the collarbone. And then as you exhale, we're releasing from the collarbone down into the chest, the rib cage is deflating, and finally, and lastly, the belly, maybe drawing that navel in towards the spine. So let's just take a couple of breaths together. So again, we'll breathe into the belly, feel it inflate, bring it up further so that you're expanding through the ribs into the chest, all the way up towards the collarbone, and then exhaling, letting go from the collarbone, down into the chest, contracting through the rib cage and deflating the belly. So taking one more breath together into the belly, into the lower chest, and then into the higher chest up near the, the uh, collarbone. And then exhaling from the upper chest lower chest into the rib cage and then finally into the belly and so we'll do a few breaths on our own and I would suggest either closing the eyes or maybe just have them be softly open looking down at the ground in front of you just to not let anything distract you you just want to focus on your breath and I will signal the end of our session just with a little with our chime here. So go ahead and just make yourself comfortable. This is called Easy Pose, 
cross-legged if that doesn't feel comfortable. You can always just bring both legs out, soles of your feet together. So, close in your eyes, scan your body, and notice if you're holding any tightness anywhere, and just let it go. Gently letting go of the breath that you're on. And then breathe into your belly, into your chest, all the way up towards the collarbone. And then exhale, deflating from the collarbone down into the chest and the rib cage, and finally the belly. And then we'll just do it in the silence. Finish the breath that you're on. And bring your breath back to its normal breath, to its normal breathing in and out. And so how did that feel? Do you feel a little bit more relaxed already? And so this is a practice that you can do anytime. Anytime you're feeling stressed, a little bit worried, maybe before you go to bed. Just take a moment just to do that three-part breathing, bringing that awareness into your breath, helping it to relax your body. So with that being said, let's just close the eyes again and just take a moment to set an intention for your practice this evening. Finding that word or that phrase that you can use as your mantra. Something simple like relax or be still. Let go, whatever works for you. And as we go throughout our practice this evening, I'll just remind you from time to time to remember your intention. It'll help bring greater focus into your practice. So let's begin by sitting up tall and bringing the chin down to the chest. And relax your shoulders, your upper back, and let go of any tightness that you might be holding, any tension across the shoulders and the back of your neck. Again, just breathing nice even breaths and then bringing your fingertips down to the floor on either side of your hips let's roll the head over to one shoulder and just relax there letting your ear gently come down towards your shoulder not bringing your shoulder up towards your ear just feel a nice stretch on the other side of your neck
And then as you exhale, we'll bring it back to center. And on your next breath, roll your head over to the other side. And so just doing the same thing, relaxing your ear towards your shoulder, keeping the shoulders relaxed. And then as you exhale, go ahead and bring the chin back to center and keep your head down and bring your hands in front of you and interlace the fingers. And we're just gonna stretch the arms out with your palms facing out and then round your back so that you're slouching and stretch the arms out, stretch your hands out and breathe nice and deeply in between your shoulder blades. Feel the breath opening up, releasing, letting go of any tightness that you're holding there. Using your mantra. Taking one more breath. And then as you breathe in, straighten your spine and bring your arms overhead and turn the palms of your hands to face the top of your head. And then from there, bring your pointer fingers out. Let's inhale, bring the fingers up towards the ceiling and exhale to one side. And just breathe into the opposite side of the body. And again, bringing great awareness to the breath throughout the practice. Feel the rib cage expand with each breath. And then as you inhale, we'll come back to center and exhale to the other side. And again, just noticing your breath expand through your ribs. Breathing in, we'll come back to center. And then exhaling, go ahead and release. And bring your hands behind your back sit sideways here, interlace your fingers here, and then straighten your arms so that your hands are, are down by your sacrum. So looking straight ahead, and then kind of squeeze the shoulder blades together, draw the shoulder back, and look slightly up. Be mindful of your neck. We just want to open up across the collarbones opening up through your heart space into your chest. And then as you exhale, go ahead and release. Stretch out your legs, noticing which one went out first. Let's just wiggle them around. We just want to release any tightness that you might have been holding in the joints. And then whenever you feel like you've wiggled them out and feel a little bit looser, let's bring the leg, uh, the opposite leg in first so that your legs are crossed in the other direction. From here, we're going to place the hands on the knees. And take a nice breath in and as you exhale, lean forward. And so we wanna relax here as deep as you can go. And maybe you can only go just a little bit, like so. But as you use your breath, gradually letting go of any tightness, you'll feel that you can go a little bit deeper into your fold. So just allow, not forcing anything, just relax into it. And I'm just gonna sit up slightly so that I'm not talking into the floor. So from here, we're just relaxing the back of the neck. Let your head be heavy. Let go of any tightness in your shoulders. Your upper back, relax all the way down your back into your lower back. And then on an inhale, we're going to begin to make circles. And so initially your circles might be just little circles. But then as you begin to loosen up, you can make 
bigger circles. So whatever size circle feels really good to you this evening, making those, we're just loosening up through the hips. Gradually making your way back to the point where you started and just pause there for a moment. And then whenever you're ready, we'll go in the other direction. Breathing in halfway and then breathing out the other half. Gradually making your way back to the point where you started. And just relax there for a moment. Bring the hands down to the floor and walk them out a bit. Maybe bringing yourself into a deeper fold. Just walk your fingers even just a teensy bit further out. Letting go through your hips and your glutes, your lower back. And then on an inhale, begin to walk your hands in towards your body, bringing yourself up out of the pose. And let's come down onto the back. And so I'm hoping I have a little bit different setup here. So I'm hoping that uh, you can see me. So we're going to start out with bringing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a nice hug here, maybe holding on to your wrists and just kind of roll side to side a little bit to get your back situated here. And then once you're situated, bring it into stillness and allow all the muscles in your back, all the tension to just release and let go. Let go of your day. You've been sitting at a computer. There's my kitty. Eartha Kitty always has to check out and see what I'm doing. So we're going to keep our left knee tucked in for the, for the moment and bring the right foot down to the ground. And so continue hugging that knee in, maybe hug it in a little bit closer and let go of any tightness that you might be feeling around your hip and all through your glutes. Just let that go. Just relax, relax your shoulders. As you inhale, extend that leg up in the air and let's interlace your fingers behind your calf. And then from there, not pulling anything, just gently bringing it in closer. Just allow the breath to let go of any tightness that you might be feeling through your hamstrings. I think Eartha will be demonstrating some different types of poses maybe. So you can follow either one of us. And maybe as you release that tightness through the back of your thigh, maybe you can feel it, be able to just draw it in just a teensy bit closer toward your body. And then let's bring the back up and we'll Put the leg into the left hand and bring your right hand down to your hip bone or to the floor, either one, whichever feels more comfortable. And as you exhale, lower that leg out to the side. And so you can always hold on to that leg with your arm, maybe resting your elbow on the ground. Your hand is there just to support the leg, only going as far as feels good to you. You want to feel a nice stretch all through the inside of your left thigh area. And as you release and let go, perhaps that leg falls 
further down towards the ground. And you can always make it a little bit more intense by just flexing the foot, pressing the heel out. And then on your next breath, bring that leg back up. And once it's straight up towards the ceiling, we'll switch out the hands and lower the leg across the body over to your right. And this time you'll feel the stretch all around the left outer hip area into your glutes. And just let that go further to the ground. And then breathing in, go ahead and bring that leg back up. And as you exhale, lower it down to the ground and stretch out your leg. We're going to stretch the other arm over the left arm overhead. So you have your left arm overhead and your left leg stretched out. And you want to make yourself really long. So stretch out all your fingers and point your toes and just breathe into the whole left side of your body. Take a nice breath in, stretch it out. And then breathe out and just relax. And just notice how you feel all along the left side of your body. How does it feel compared to the right side? Hopefully, maybe you feel a little bit more open on the left side now, maybe even longer on the left side. So we're going to switch sides. So go ahead and uh, bring your bend your left leg. I'm going to turn around. And just bring your right knee into the in for another hug. And just draw it in closer to the body. You want to let go of any tightness that you might be feeling in your hip crease area. Just breathe gently, remember your intention, and let it go. And then on an inhale, bring that leg up. Interlace your fingers behind your calf and gently pull that leg in towards the body. And the foot can be relaxed or it can be flexed. Can't remember if I said that on the other side or not. I apologize. And you're feeling again this stretch through the hamstrings, this time on the right side. And as you breathe, you might be able to pull that leg just a little bit closer into the body, not forcing it. You never want to feel any pain in your yoga practice. So if you do, just let off, maybe even come out of the pose altogether. We want to be safe in our yoga practice. And then breathing again, again just bring your legs straight up. We're going to hold on to the leg, this time with the right hand. The left hand goes down onto the floor or on your hip bone. And exhaling, let that leg fall out to your right. And so, just like you did on the other side, the foot can be either relaxed, or if you flexed it on the left side, go ahead and flex it on this side. Stretching it out, feeling a nice stretch through the inside of your right thigh. And then on an inhale, bring that leg back up. We'll switch out our hands and lower the leg across the body over to the left. And I'm a little bit confined with my space here, so I apologize. That leg could probably go closer down towards the floor if you have the space. We have different setups in the studio space as opposed to home. Relaxing through your outer right thigh into your glutes. And then on your next breath, go ahead and bring your leg back up. And as you exhale, lower it down 
And so once it's down on the ground, we'll go ahead and bring that right arm overhead. Stretch out your hands, your fingers, point your toes, and take a nice breath in here, stretching all along the right side of the body. Take another deep breath, breathing in, making yourself nice and long. And then exhale, relax, and just notice how you feel on the right side of the body. So from here, bending your right knee. Once again, bring the knees into the chest and just do a little rock and roll back and forth, side to side. And then bring your knees all the way to one side, bringing yourself onto your side and you're gonna use your upper hand to help push down, bringing yourself back up. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. So we're gonna come into our hands and knees. So from here, we're going to bring the hands directly beneath the shoulder, shoulder width apart, and our knees our hip distance apart. Our back is flat. And we're doing some cows and cats. Yeah, we're doing some cats. <laughs> so as you breathe in, go ahead and release your belly. Relax it. Let it just hang out and look up into your cow. And then as you exhale, curl your tailbone under. Begin to arch your back just like a Halloween cat. And look towards the navel. And then alternate here, just follow your own breath. Breathing in, looking up into cow, relaxing the belly. And then as you breathe out, pull that navel in towards the spine, looking towards the navel into cat. We'll just do a few of these nice, gentle movements. Let's do one more. And then go ahead and we'll bring it into tabletop. So from here, just take a, a moment here. We're, I'm just gonna show you some props. Uh, if you have a block, uh, go ahead and grab your block. Uh, if you don't have a block, Maybe grab a pillow and we're going to come into a, our, our first yin position here so um, I'll demonstrate first with the pillow because I'm imagining maybe people more people have pillows than blocks we're going to come back to the tabletop position and we're going to place this pillow to be directly beneath the forehead with the arms on either side of the pillow. Knees are back underneath your hips. And you want to make sure that your elbows are directly beneath your shoulders so that your elbows are not splayed out to either side but rather brought in. If you have a block, place it like this um, as opposed to flat. You want to have it up on one side and place your forehead on the block. And so you're being supported by your upper arms and your block or your pillow. Again, your knees hip distance apart. And then, I'm not paying any attention to my cat, so a little bit testy there, yes. So we're just going to relax the belly, just kind of let it hang out. Relax all the muscles in your face. Relax your neck and your shoulders. And relax all the way down your back. All the way down into your lower back and your hips. And just breathe. Just focus on your breath. Focus on your breath and your mantra. And we'll just be here for several breaths. So really do a nice deep letting go. 
it becomes too uncomfortable, just do what you need to do to make yourself comfortable. You could even go into child's pose, bringing your hips back, removing the block or the pillow, and putting your head down on the floor. So we'll just stay here on your block or pillow. And relax, relax your chest. produces a little bit of a back bend. Back bends allow us to move forward more easily. And just scan your body. Are you holding tightness anywhere? Is your face tight, your jaw? You might even want to let your lips slightly part. out of this nice and easy. So start with just kind of moving your block or your pillow away from you, bringing your head up just slightly, and then curl your tailbone under and begin to neutralize your spine nice and slow. And from there, walk your hands in, bringing them right below your shoulders again. And let's bring the feet over to the left and lean to your right and look over your left shoulder. Breathing into the right side of the body. And then bring everything back to center and walk your feet over to the other side, leaning in the opposite direction with your hip and looking in the same direction over your shoulder towards your feet. bring it back to center and let's just do a couple more cows and cats exhaling arching your back into cat and then breathing in looking up into cow you've completed your cat, go ahead and bring it back into your, your neutral tabletop and then walk your knees to one side and bring yourself into a seated position. And so we're going to bring the legs straight out in front of us. So um, I'm going to do that with my legs alongside my, alongside Eartha Kitty. <laughs> And just sit up tall and bring your hands down at your side. And so feel that um, straightening of the spine. Feel your tailbone kind of pressing down into the earth. We want to feel nice and grounded. And then create space in between each vertebrae so that the top of your head feels like it's floating up towards the ceiling. Making yourself tall, staff pose. Relax your shoulders. And then bringing your hands to your sides, palms face up. Let's bring them up overhead and bring them back by your ears, parallel to each other. 
And we're going to keep a nice straight back. And I'm going to sit sideways so you can see this. Toes are facing up towards the ceiling. They're not flexed, they're just relaxed. And as you exhale, just hinge from your hips. So you're not going down very far. Just want to relax your lower back, your hips. And then as you inhale, bring your body back up, stretch it out. And then exhale, relax your hands back down at your sides. And so we're still sitting up tall here. And so we're going to grab our pillows again. And um, I'll demonstrate first uh, our forward bend without a pillow. And then I'll demonstrate it with the pillow. So if you don't have a pillow, we're just going to crisscross our arms like so, uh, holding on to either elbow behind our knees. So you just put a bend into your knees and then crisscross your arms. And actually, you don't have to hold on to your elbows. Just let the hands be flat on the floor. And then round your back. Let your forehead come down towards your knees. If you have a pillow, grab your pillow and maybe fold it in half and place it behind your knees. And then placing your hands on your thighs, you're just going to slide them down towards your ankles, towards your feet, and round your back and let your forehead come down towards your knees. And if that doesn't feel comfortable, you can even grab another pillow and put it on top of your lap Maybe even make an extra pillow with your arms crossed like this. And put your forehead down into your arms. So you just want to be as relaxed as possible. Again, we're making this into a yin pose. So scanning your body, notice where you're holding tightness. Relaxing your face. Throughout your jaw, maybe again parting the lips, relax your tongue. Relax all the way down your neck, into your shoulders and your upper back. And then from your upper back, all the way down your back, into your lower back and down into your hips. Breathe in nice and deep so that with each breath you're expanding through the back. Feel the back open up, releasing any tightness there. I mentioned earlier about back bends, allowing us to move forward with greater ease. And so far, back forward bends allow us to uh, let go of whatever we're holding on to from our past. So feel that letting go, whether it's something recent, maybe from today, something didn't go well, just let that go. Or maybe it goes further back. It could go all the way back to your childhood. Stuff that we've been holding on to, we just want to let it go. In the yoga practice, we've been carrying these burdens way too long. So use your breath to help you relax. We'll take a few more breaths here. So remember your mantra, helping you to relax.
the mat in a pose. We're just going to move nice and easy. So walk your hands in towards your body so that you're bringing your body back up very nice and slow. From here, remove whatever props you had. If you had one pillow or two pillows, just put them to the side. And again, we're sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders relaxed. And just take a moment to notice any sensations in your body. Notice if sitting in this staff pose the second time around feels better than the first time, if it feels easier. Just making all those notations, no judgments. And so let's bend the one leg and bring that foot over to the other side, placing it maybe around the outside of the, your knee there just as close as you can bring it in. We want to be able to hold on, either hold on to the knee with the hand or with put it in the crook of the uh, elbow or the opposite arm. And then as you breathe in, bring that arm up, the same arm, the, the bent leg, and then pivot and bring that hand to rest behind you. And so you don't want to lean on it you want to have a nice straight spine and just be using this hand as a nice support for your pivot. And as you breathe in, you're going to lengthen through your spine. And then as you breathe out, feel your navel maybe pulling you, just imagine that it's pulling you closer to looking over your shoulder. And then on your next breath, we bring the gaze forward and release and straighten out that leg. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So other foot over, opposite arm around, however you had the hold, sitting up tall. Bring that arm up, and as you exhale, look behind you. next breath bring your gaze forward and then as you breathe out go ahead and release it so we're going to come down onto our backs and we're going to use the pillow so just take a, a look here first i like to sometimes this is a pretty thick pillow so i probably won't be using the thickness of of a double pillow here um, but if you have a floppy pillow you might want to fold it in half and what you want to do is put it at the base of your spine right at your tailbone and then lean back onto it and we want the head to come off of it and as you can see this is a little bit of a, a little bit too thick for me I'm a little person so I'm just going to put it more of a at an angle so that the the point of the pillow is right at my tailbone and I'm going to come back and let my head come off the pillow. If it feels too uncomfortable with your head off the pillow, you can grab another pillow and put, place it under your head um, or just not use the pillow at all. This is going to be a restorative back bend. And so, once you're down on your pillow, go ahead and take a moment to get situated on your pillow. And so, for the leg, actually, let's let's do the upper body first. For the arms, we're going to bring the arms out into a T, so that you're really opening up all across your chest. So just open up your arms into a T and feel that openness through your heart space. And so you can keep your legs bent, maybe rest your knees against each other, or you can bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees drop out to either side, or you can have your legs be straight out. So whichever one is feeling good to you, 
we're going to do that. If you have the soles of your feet together and you begin to feel kind of fatigued through your hips, you can always make fists with your hands and then just kind of place them in that hip crease area and support your uh, hip creases there, your hips. So another back bend to experience that freedom of moving forward as we release any tightness that you might be feeling across your collarbones. If you feel any constriction through across your chest, just feel the freedom of breathing through that. We're in a safe place now, a safe space. Just being totally relaxed, being able to breathe and open up. Just breathe love into what areas feel fearful, what areas feel hurt, Breathe love. Remember your intention, your mantra, that helps. If you have your knees out and your soles of your feet together whenever they begin to your hips feel tired you can always use your hands down by your hips to help bring those knees together and let them lean against each other and bring your feet as wide as your mat and then bring your arms back out at your sides and we'll just continue to relax here Breathing into that openness. Begin to feel freedom. Knowing you always have a choice. The choice is yours, what action to do. Choice is yours even to choose to just be. Maybe spending a lot of time just, just being. Our pace may have slowed down a little bit. And just know that that's okay. Everything is going to be just fine. Take a few more breaths. So whenever you're ready to come out of the pose, we're just going to roll to the one side and remove the pillow. Place the pillow to the side and come back onto your back. And let's go ahead and bring the knees in close enough that you can put your hands on your knees. And let's just roll the knees around in circles just to give yourself a nice little back massage, a little massage around the hips and the lower back. Your circles can be big, they can be little, whatever you need. A little bit of self-care here, gentle massage. And then whenever you feel complete in this direction, you can go in the other direction. And then go ahead, begin to bring everything back into the stillness. Let's bring our legs straight up into the air. And so point your toes, feel that stretch into your legs, and then flex your feet and feel the stretch in the backs of the legs. 
and then just alternate. And let's rotate the feet in circles, loosening up through the ankles. And then go in the other direction. And then just relax them. If the legs get tired, you can always hold on to the backs of the legs. You just want to feel the sensation of everything flowing in another direction in a safe space. Because right now, absolutely, everything's going in a different direction from how we had planned even a month ago. It's really mind-boggling when you think about it. And uh, yet here we are. So just practicing feeling the flow of everything being upside down and knowing that this is okay, so it's going to be okay in life as well. So just breathe into that. Breathe into your mantra. And just take a few more breaths here. And so when you're ready to come out of the pose, go ahead and bend your knees. Bring them in for a hug and just roll side to side. And then come back to stillness in the center. And bring your arms out into a T again. And let's lower the knees to the one side, keeping your knees together if you can. If it helps to bring uh, your lower arm that's on the floor to bring it um, on top of your thigh. Feel free to do that. Otherwise, let your arms be out in a T. I'm going to try to keep both shoulders on the ground as much as possible. And then if you can, look in the other direction from the direction of your knees. So we're just getting a nice twist here. We're going to feel like you're wringing out anything that you haven't let go of yet. Just wring it out very gently, letting go of it in gratitude for whatever purpose it served. Just sending it off in love, breathing in love to the spaces that it's leaving. your next breath go ahead and bring everything back to the center and as you exhale lower those knees over to the other side again either keeping your arms in a T or if it feels good to use that hand to rest on top of your thighs and you're looking in the other direction of your knees bringing everything out on this side again Feeling that sense of gratitude, breathing in love, and breathing out love. There is nothing but love. next breath we bring everything back to the center let's reach the feet up a little bit and reach up for 
big toes with your forefinger and your middle finger, what we call the peace fingers. And we're going to hold on to these big toes and then open up the legs and rock gently side to side. Just a nice little gentle rocking motion, not too far to one side or the other. Again, massaging our backs, feeling that nice little massage. Maybe feeling a little bit playful, having memories of when you're a child, carefree. And then whenever you feel complete here, just bring your rocking into stillness. Bring the knees or the uh, legs together, release your toes. And let's go ahead and bring the feet down to the floor and stretch them out. Let's bring the arms overhead. And again, we're going to make ourselves nice and long. So I don't think you can see my full body, but what I'm doing is pointing my toes and stretching out all of my fingers, making myself as long as I can. So take a few nice deep breaths in here and as you breathe out just let it out with a sigh <sighs> and just know that there's nobody around to judge your sign out like there would be in a live class so really let it go breathe in nice big stretch and then a nice big sigh <sighs> Let's do one more. Breathe in, make yourself long, stretching, stretching, and then let it go. <sighs> and go ahead and slide your arms to your sides, your palms face up, slightly away from your body, in our corpse pose, in our savasana. So just let yourself relax there. If you want to take a moment and put on socks or maybe grab a blanket. I'm going to bring myself to a seated position, but you remain laying down. So just scan your body and notice if you're holding any tightness anywhere. Gently send the breath there and let it go. Just let your feet relax out to either side. Your arms are relaxed out at your sides. And bring your awareness into the top of your head. Letting go of any tightness that you might feel in the top of your head, around your scalp, And imagine a warm sensation begin to move down your head moving down over your forehead gently smoothing out any worry lines that you might have there feel that warmth seep deep into your head deep into your brain letting go of any worries There's nothing but love, breathing into that. Feel your eyes soften, relaxing through your cheeks, and all around your mouth. Relax your tongue, maybe even let your lips slightly part release any tension you might be holding in your jaw. And feel that warmth continue flowing down the sides of your head, the back of your head, down into your neck and around your throat, gently releasing any tightness in the muscles in your neck and throat. 
might even feel like your throat is opening up a little bit. And that warmth continues flowing down the body into your shoulders, gently massaging away any tension. Feel it come down your arms, past your elbows, past your wrists, and all the way out through your hands, fingers, and thumbs. warmth continues down your back, gently massaging all the muscles in your back. Just feel all those muscles maybe sinking deeper into the floor as you release and let go. Feel warmth across your chest, Maybe opening up across your collarbones. Sensing the warmth of your love in your heart space. And that warmth continues moving down your body into your belly. Softening all the muscles in your belly, relaxing all of the organs. Feel as if everything is melting in that space in between the hip bones. Relaxing more fully through the hips and down into the glutes. As the warmth continues down into your legs, all around your thighs, releasing any tightness in the quads and your hamstrings. Gently softening your knees and then moving down into your calves and your shins. Feel it move into your ankles, softening. And finally, the warmth comes into your feet, around the tops of your feet and your toes, into your heels and the bottoms of your feet. so that your whole body is now feeling nice and cozy and warm and relaxed. And so we'll just relax here in the silence for a few moments. So you gently bring your awareness back into the space, making any subtle movements like wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. Maybe rotating your wrists, rotating your ankles and taking your time, bring your knees into your chest, giving yourself a hug, rocking gently side to side, eventually bringing yourself to rest on your right side. And so just take a moment there, just to bring awareness into the body, 
feeling all the space that's opened up, energy flowing more freely through the body, feeling deeper, deep, more deeply relaxed. Breathing in love, remembering nothing exists but love. So again, using your hands, gently push yourself back up, coming back to the seated position that we started out with. And so we're going to sit up nice and tall, and I like to close my practices by chanting Om. And so Om is just this vibrational sound that we all make, and when we make it together, Perhaps virtually we feel this connection with one another. So it's just a long drawn out OM sound. So go ahead and close your eyes and sit up tall and gently let go of the breath that you're on. Take a breath in through your nose and breathe out through the mouth. And then take another deep breath to OM. Oh. And bring your palms together at your heart center. And once again, recall the intention, your mantra that you started out with. And as you breathe, breathe it into every cell in your body so you can take it with you. So as you go throughout the rest of your week or until you take another class with us on Let's Get Physical, we're offering classes every day except Friday and Saturday. Uh, the next class is tomorrow at 6 with Stacy. So in between classes, just take time to breathe. Remember your breath. Breathing in, recalling your intention, feeling that love. And just know that the light in me sees and honors the light in you, even if it's just virtually. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. Again, my name is Brenda Zeckmeister, and I am teaching yoga through Let's Get Physical an initiative of a nonprofit called Price Hill Will in Price Hill, Cincinnati. If you would like to help support this program or know of someone or a company that would like to provide some support, Price Hill Will has a, price, has a website called pricehillwill.org and all you need to do is look for the Let's Get Physical uh, page. I believe it's under Health Initiatives and uh, just scroll down and there's a donate button there. And be sure to write in the notes that you would like your donation to go towards Let's Get Physical. So we can keep these great programs happening for you. So until we meet again, have a beautiful rest of your day, perhaps a beautiful rest of your week. Take care, bye bye.